Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Rocket Edition. Last episode we joined Team Rocket, we had our first successful mission, got a bit of a rival at uh, Team Rocket as well which is pretty cool. Arrived at Kanto, we're now going to be making our way to Cerulean City, leaving Vermilion City. Uh, we ran to, to Lieutenant Surge who gave us a little bit of a stern warning, but uh, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. I assume we're probably going to head towards Mount Moon, do the first like official rocket mission there where you run into Team Rocket in um, you know, the original Fire Red Leaf Green. We've got a Rattata here, level 11. Right, let's go ahead and go for a wing attack. Our Zoo Batman looking pretty good. He can absolutely destroy everyone. I had a really like tough battle last episode where like Zoo Batman managed to beat a Marie, beat the Wooper. It was pretty pretty good, man. Pretty good. Alright, well, she got a Spiro. That's fine. We'll just keep wing attacking. Nice, nice, nice. We got XP share, which is great. I, I went to the Pokemon, I sold the pearls, and I bought some balls. So now we can um, obviously catch some new Pokemon. Don't know what I'm going to catch for the team, but definitely starting to make the team a little bit better because not that the Zubat's bad or Sentret's bad, but <laughs> something to definitely spice the team up a little bit would be good. Or we can go the, the full Team Rocket route. Go catch an Ekans, catch a Coffin. Uh, what else do they have? Ekans, Coffin, Zubat, Ranata, uh... I that's like the core four of the Pokemon they mainly use, the Grunts anyway. Maybe some of them use a Voltorb? That's more like a scientist people, isn't it? Let's go attack the Butterfree, nice! And this Zubat's absolutely killing it. I think I'll catch anything that would like make the team better. But don't hurt us, we're just talking. Never! Give me your Pokemon! Run a tad, that'd be good. <laughs> nice uh, Fury Swipes. Uh, let's get rid of Scratch. What else you got? Pikachu, ooh, that's fine. Oh yeah, we got the egg as well from Archer. Don't know what the egg's gonna be, but hopefully not a Togepi. We did see the Togepi man in the Sevi Islands, but um, he didn't want to give us an egg. <laughs> ooh, a Squirtle, eh? It's a Mega Drain ya. Nice. And another Mega Drain. Easy, dude. Easy. Alright, yo! Gonna fight everyone for the experience. Because the start of the game last episode was, was pretty tough. I want to make sure that we are just a little bit strong going forward, because if we are going to be going to Mount Moon, we might be running into red. And if we can win that fight, awesome. Or it might be like the Fire Red Rocket Edition where you had to lose. I mean, you can win that fight, but it's just like, yeah, you cheated. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're supposed to lose that fight. Okay, sweet. So can we go into Saffron? Or is it going to be blocked? Oh, so what kind of joke is this? Only the elite of the region gets into Saffron City. Disappear, Rocket, if you don't want to get into trouble. Oh, okay. I thought I could just maybe, like, walk past him. Like, you can't tell me what to do. You ain't the boss of me. Uh, how's it going? So people often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. I don't have an item finder. Oh! Uh, Voltsy, excuse me for going further than you, but I wanted to hatch my eggs as soon as possible after Archer gave it to us, after completing our Chrono Island mission. So that way I can begin to train it. That's that's smart. I need to hatch this egg. But in the rush, I forgot to inform you about the place that has assigned us for the next missions. Uh, there are several topics that seem to require our intervention. Okay. Meanwhile, what do you think about Kanto people? Uh, yeah, seems like they don't like us too much, eh? Yep, I was going to say, they, they hate us. So it looks like Elite Four uh, started a uh, discredit campaign against our organization. A bit later, then war happened. I've had time since my defeat against the uh, console to improve my Pokemon team. I very much doubt that she can beat me now. However, I want to test if the outcome of our first fight in the presence of Archer was a coincidence or not. Get ready. I'll go all out. Ooh, okay. I wonder if we got the same egg. Let's find out, man. But well, I'm a lot stronger as well, so we'll see. Oh, you got a tentacle. Okay. Can you imagine that's the egg? <laughs> uh, gonna go for a wing attack first. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we've got an berry, okay. Ah, oh, Supersonic sucks. Come on, one more wing attack should take it out. No! That's not good. Let's go Mega Drain, get a bit of HP back. Oh, it's, okay. Never mind. It's fine, it's fine. I think I have a potion, so I should be good. I'm gonna go to center it for this. Yeah, I've got five potions. i got a revive as well. Whoa, that wing attack one shot at me? Oh, that's not good. You're level 15. This is bad. No, stop with the supersonic. Nice. 
Come on. If I get through this, I can win. Come on, please. Please don't hurt yourself. Yes. Oh, that was close. That was close. Nice. Level 16 BB. The last one's a Teddy Ursa. Okay. Gonna Mega Drain that get a bit of HP back. Ooh. Um, I think the best thing right now is to probably go for Bite. Try and get the Flinch. Because even if I heal up, it's gonna not going to be enough HP, is it? I'm going to have to go for Bite. I need the Flinch. Yes! Oh my god, that's so clutch. I'm going to actually finish you off. Oh, let's go critical hit as well. That flinch, baby! That flinch was so good! Oh, man. Okay. So, who going harder? I should be happy. I prefer someone like you at my side of, on future missions than someone mediocre. But don't fool yourself. I'm going to surpass your levels at any moment. I'll become the strongest and most efficient grunt in the whole organization. So a messenger told me that the rocket administrator of this area, a patrol, oh that's the guy's name, I couldn't remember the admin's name, patrol, that summoned us to the Pokemon daycare center that is across this underground. He said that we should enter the place secretly and without being seen. That's all. So see you there. Don't be late, okay? I'm going to quickly go get healed up and then we'll go make our way across this uh, underground. Alright, we're back nice and healthy. Let's make our way through. I think there's like a few trainers in here, no? Am I thinking of a different underground? Alright, completely empty. Oh no, I'll never trade my Pokemon with someone like you. I'm sure you're mean with your Pokemon. I'm, I'm, I'm quite nice. I'm quite nice with my Pokemon. So there's the daycare that's we want to get into. We might see what Pokemon we can find around here first. Maybe catch something. Ooh, an Oddish could be kind of good. Mm. Gonna go for it. Nice, all right, got an Oddish for the team. Get a nice file plume. Anything else around here? Got Meowth. Oh! Did Team Rocket use Meowth or is it just uh, Giovanni or Persian? I can't remember if the Grunts actually use Meowths. Okay, a little bit weak here, so I'm going to just heal up. Ooh. Ah, there you go. How long has the egg got left? Uh, take some time, okay. Maybe we should hatch the egg first. All right, let me see what else we can find around here. If it's just like Pidgeys, Meowths and Oddishes, then it's fine. I think I might just run around and hatch the egg. Go get healed up again. A little bit extra training can never hurt. Okay, level 17 Confuse Ray. Um, I don't know what to get rid of. I want Confuse Ray, but I, I think I need the moveset as it is. There's a lot of coverage. I guess I should probably get rid of Mega Drain, so I don't need any more. And then we've got Oddish. But uh, yeah, let me just not go in there. I'm going to go and get healed up, hatch the egg, and I'll see you guys when it's all ready to um, to go in. Alright, the egg is finally ready to hatch. What do we got? Come on, be something good. It's a... Uh... Oh! I like that. Yes! That's actually awesome. I think that's the, like, the best case scenario, honestly. <laughs> right, I'm going to take XP share off of the Centric, put it on the Hound Hour. Oh, uh, give you this so we can start getting some experience. Oh man, our team looking badass already, man. Ooh. So now let's go to the daycare. And hopefully get into a fight and then we can get this Hound Arrow a few levels to start using it and our team's banging. Oh, if we got a fight red later, or blue, I think we have a good chance of winning. Let's go in here. Hey, yo. Right, you're here. You know that this info that I will give you to uh, uh, from right now is totally confidential. The slightest word about this out of Rocket Organization is punished by maximum penalty. You're already Rocket, so I guess you're prepared to accept these conditions? Yes, go ahead. Ooh, okay. The door of the lock, okay. So, well, as you might suspect, this is not a normal daycare. This is a covert Rocket base. One of our many shadow businesses. Basically, yes. We do what we promise, taking care of the trainer's beloved Pokemon. However, the contract does not talk about the conditions or the extra commission that we charge for it. That is, the business here comes from pairing at those transferred Pokemon that are of the same species to create uh, Pokemon eggs. That is our benefits. Some of them, such as Clefairy or Abra, are sent to the casino. Others are sold directly on the black market. In fact, uh, your dear Chrono Island console, without going, going any further, she brought a Meowth from an egg born here. Ingenious. 
So the Celadon base isn't the only one that Team Rocket runs in this region. I had no idea. It's the perfect business. You'll discover a few more things if you stay here long enough, young Grum. For the moment, Patrol is waiting for you uh, downstairs in his office. To get down, just go to the uh, green area at the top left. If you pay attention, you'll see a trap door that blurs with the pavement. That's the secret entrance. Okay. Sounds good. So now hurry up. Some clients could arrive soon and there is uh, nothing worse for business actually than getting mixed with Team Rocket. So come on. Okay. It was true. Ooh. Trap door. Do you want to enter the rocket base? I do. Man, this is so cool, man. I love this game already. So we have uh, cameras placed all over Route 5 that connect to this base. That way we always have enough time to organize the daycare without raising suspicions. That's pretty good, man. Very smart. Ha! Kanto people think we're dumb, but we have much more weapons uh, than they think. Don't ever show them all your tricks, boy. Oh, oh. Uh, how's it going, dude? So Patrol, the executive that administrates this base, is the kind of opponent that no one wants to fight. Poison techniques and auto-destruction expert. Been a risky opponent to fight. His Weezen uh, 2 is a hard Pokemon to defeat by non-psychic Pokemon, especially on the physical side. So I heard that on Johto we have another base. Uh, they're doing great improvements about radio waves and their possible consequence on Pokemon. I'd like to visit it someday. Maybe one day? Oh! Those grunts right there look really cool. A bit like a red on their uniform, I want that. But. So welcome to our base daycare on Route 5, new grunts. You're the last to join our activity in Kanto. I'm Patrol, a rocket administrator and a chief in command of this base. So I'll be uh, very brief. The main reason for this base is to serve as financial support for the financing of our projects. Here we only limit ourselves to carrying out research on possible profitable businesses and putting them into practice, all in order to carry out money for truly uh, transcendental research. Uh, I've heard that your performance was acceptable on Chrono Island. It remains to be seen how you evolve in Kanto. As a rookie grunts that you are, you'll be, you will meet on your second official mission, the first in Kanto. With other grunts are located on Mount Moon, to the west from Cer Cerulean City. Once there, you'll clean the place of all types of fossils, moonstones, nuggets, or other valuables. Give priority to fossils. Its value on the black market is enormous, more than any Pokemon that, can, that we can sell at the Celadon Casino. When you finish the job, come back here again to count the collection and establish a reward based on it. Any questions? I was wondering, sir, how you evaluate our performance in the mission? Given that there will be many of us, will only the collective be evaluated or also individually? So we have a competitive grunt. If you're worried about impossibility to climb within the organization by being eclipsed by a media operation, um, you should already know that we prioritize the collective. Still, I'll make it very clear. You have two ways of climb here. One, for each group mission we carry out evaluations of each individual operation. Two, not in all missions we send a lot of grunts. Some missions are individual or in pairs, such as yours in the console's house. Those kinds of missions are where your merit, or your fault is greater. Understood. We won't disappoint Team Rocket and their aspirations. Alright, keep going. Your arrival to Kanto and this mission have coincided, and now you're, you're out of time. We'll have enough time to explain how we do the things here. So bring those fossils and crush everyone who wants to opposite. Okay. Yes, sir. So we're so lucky, Voltsy. We just arrived here and we already got assigned to a mission. Let's get all those fossils without caring who opposes. I'll see you later on Mount Moon, East Entrance. Sounds good. You guys look cool, man. Also ready to ex uh, expect to any order that he could receive from Patrol. That's a top tier grunt right there. That's why I spy to be one day. Anything over here we can get? So stats are useless if we can't learn practical lessons from them. It is estimated that on average people lose 4 hours a day on useless tasks. Inefficient or directly doing nothing. If we consider that you have to sleep 8 hours, work another 8 and do some obligations another 2, we only have 6 hours left for our personal goals for the day. What a waste to spend 4 of those 6 that way. That's why Team Rocket is where it is. Procrastination doesn't exist here. So what are you doing Grunt? Go ahead and accomplish your mission. Dude I felt like I wasted 6 hours talking to you. <laughs> We own more than 70% of the Pokemon traffic on the market in the Kanto region, thanks to the game corner and the constant flows of Pokemon that come from this base. Chrono Island and others. Nobody overshadows us in that section. Alright, got some Clefairy there. Ooh, Cubone. And a Spearow. So I don't see anything wrong with what we do here. We all win. You just have to look at those Pokemon. They're happy in the company of members of their own species. They become stronger, the trainers are happy, and we make money. Life is like that. 
The one who proposes things is the one who ends up making money. Mm, I don't know, I can't really tell if they're happy or not. But, oh, there's a little bit more we can do here. <gasps> the Rocket Pokemon Center. Okay. Uh, this base collects more than 1 million Pokey per week as payment for the care of Pokemon. Man, we can like buy a bike with that. But thanks to the sales of the eggs generated here, we are the 20 times more than by taking care of the Pokemon that generates them for us. It's actually insane. So maybe it is uh, somewhat cruel to separate the Pokemon from their eggs, but in general trainers treat their Pokemon well. Even us rockets, uh, that we whip our Pokemon with a whip is a cliche that has become widespread. Although it is true that there are people like that in our ranks. Okay, can I take the ball? It's a Cypher, but I can't take it, unfortunately. Uh, we're working on a long distance teleportation system that connects the base of Celadon City and this one. Do you know how much money we would save on transportation if we managed to achieve it? Lots. Lots and lots. I want to check the, like, shops, maybe? So, how's the thing going, Cromerad? How can I help you? Ooh! So we can just buy a Pokemon like that. Maybe buying a Mankey would be good? Um... I don't mind a Voltorb. And you sell some stuff. I need to buy some, like, Supers would be good. Get five of those. Got some balls. Um... I'm not going to buy any Pokemon from him. I kind of want to, but I think at the moment our team is, our team is good. So let's start making our way to Cerulean and then we can make our way to Mount Moon. I think I'm going to go all the way around though, aren't I? Just to cut that a little bit. Yep, all the way around then. I'm going to heal up the Pokemon Center and, um, oh, hey Rocket, we like to do a, a good deal. Patrol ordered me and another grunt a mission on Cerulean City and we thought that we'd be good having some extra help. Are you in? Yeah, sure, why not? Nice. Let's go. Oh, it's over, Hiker. This is what happens when you're going to show off about your exclusive TMs. Unfortunately for you, that TM dig would be pretty useful for us. If you'd been nice, we wouldn't have messed up your house. Now, for being like that, we'll steal all those TMs. You're so possessive that you don't want to share a few of us when we ask gently. I won't give you even one TM. If we're nice with you, uh, you abuse us, we already know how you spend them. You're not going to find the TMs because I have them. You must beat me in combat. What a pity that you're such a weakling. My dig will crush your poor Ekans and right attack. Come on! Oh ho! And this street trash? Who are you? Do you want to challenge me? You regret it! Try, good luck trying to hit me with dig when I have a flying type. <laughs> Alright. It's so cool just to see like, all these events that Team Rocket did and like Fire Red just be you know, there, at the moment when they happen, doing them. Oh, it's gonna be sick, but let's just wing attack the matchup. Easy peasy. Haha, <laughs> critical hit. I didn't even need a crit to take you out. I think one normal attack would have been good enough, but let's get that hand down a few levels. Maybe we should get level seven at least. Oh, whoa, okay, maybe not. I thought being a uh, 130 something experience would be like two levels for a hand down, but let's mega drain ya. Nice. Oh no, you're going for dig. What am I going to do? <laughs> Such a powerful TM, man. Such a powerful TM. Diglet, cool. Just make a drain. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was super easy. So that's what happens when you underestimate te uh, Team Rocket. Uh, you'll pay for uh, your arrogance. Yeah. What's your name? Foxy? Wow. This hiker had 20 TMs a dig. And he wanted it all for himself? Due to you, we were able to get them. Be sure that I'll talk to Patrol about this. Take this, you deserve it. Oh, nice. Am I going to use Dig? Uh, yeah, probably not. We have this other item, which seems to be uh, raise the power of ground type moves. That rascal for sure used it to do uh, more damage with Dig. Take it for yourself. Got some soft sand, which... Uh, that's alright. That's all, comrade. With these TMs, we'll be able to do improvements on our investigations in closed places. And get out of the get out from caves in an easy way. You collaborated by supplying resources to our organization. Good job. See you later in the barrack. You know where. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. Just gonna be teaching Dig to, I guess, Centrip. And then I'm gonna just, I guess, give Soft Sand to Centrip as well for extra damage. Right. So let's get healed up, and then we can make our way to Cerulean. So we can take on Misty. Kind of curious to see if we can. Oh, so we have another aspirant to champion, eh? Wait, 
You're a rocket! You don't have the shame of entering this place as uh, nothing has happened. Uh, when is an official and approved by the League? Pokemon. Get away from here before I call authorities. No gym leader would waste their time with a simple rocket like you. Oh, come on, man. I just want to get some gym badges. Ah, oh well. Right, uh, should we explore this place before we go to Mount Moon? Because obviously everyone has different dialogue. Might pick up another side quest. We've got like one side quest to do when we get to Celadon, which is take down the uh, the fishing guru's like brothers, wasn't it? But long ago, far away from here in Flow Island, you could capture Jinx inside the Icefall Cave. Now I'd trade one of those for a Poliwell. No, it's a bad deal, but I no longer have the energy to capture a Poliwag and evolve it on my own. How? You? I would never do business with a rocket. Oh man, come on. I was gonna say if I catch a Jinx, I'd do that trade. Maybe have like a King's Rock on it and we get a Poly Toad. Could be cool. But can I steal a bike? Hey, yo! This place is not for beggar people like you that can barely pay for your own existence. If you don't have the million pokey that cost a bicycle, this is not your place. Dude, I, my organization could buy your shop tenfold. But I want a uh, bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Then what's the point of having a bike? A bike are meant to be ridden, but okay. Many years ago, there were things that were considered very normal. Now they're not at all, and vice versa. The new times, they say. The new times, indeed. Uh, Ayo. Hey, oh. So my slowbro is a lazy Pokemon. A bit of uh, curtness would work. Uh, you rocket. I uh, probably are experts, aren't you? Yes. So you're a rocket. Thief, defraud, extort, and lie. Uh, it's a it's a tough life, isn't it? Eh, it's not too bad. It's quite fun, actually. <laughs> uh, I think yeah. These are the last two houses here to check out. So I'll never tell a rocket like you about the gym badges. What? Don't need those stupid badges to walk around using all the HMs? I don't. I can just surf whenever I want. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this house. Hey, oh. So, Brave and Daring, did you know this city has the biggest police base in Kanto? Come on, Rocket. Just give me an excuse to call them here. You can, but I'll beat their butts, man. Ain't no one stopping me. Alright, so let's make our way down Route 4. Wait, I have to go this way. Get to Mount Moon, baby! And pick up some stuff on the way. Light screen's not bad. Uh, I want to do some grinding as well, because I really want to be able to use this Hound Hour. Uh, no items down there. Got the, is it the Mega Kick and Mega Punch people? Oh, what do you want, Rocket? Mega Punch and Mega Kick? Of course, we're experts in those moves. Nothing like a good kick to give the opponent a KO, don't you think? Don't pay attention. Mega Punch is the best move that exists. We're forbidden from offering our move tutoring services to rockets, but we can give you a demonstration. Oh, okay. That's great, because it'll be an easy fight for me. Nice. Dude, the Subat is too, too strong. No way. Only Rocky Pokemon will withstand my Mega Punch. Ha! I told you already that your move doesn't have enough power to subdue. You're going to learn what a real move is, or your Pokemon will fall in one fell swoop. Oh, we'll see about that. Got a Mankey, just bam. I say, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. But I told you, your mega kick just misses. <laughs> Why do you want so much power if you don't hit the target half the time? So I'd rather fall because I failed than sink in the lousy power of Mega Punch. For that, you won't even knock down a Metapod. <laughs> so thank you for helping us put our new moves into practice. We can't teach you them by law, but we can give you this. Oh, thanks. So it's our little secret to hit even harder with our movements. Increase the power of normal type movements by 20%. If you ever have a Taurus or a Kangaskhan, don't hesitate to equip them with this. They charge much harder. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be great on us at the moment, but oh! So as you can see, the situation has gotten complicated. What kind of joke is this, Grunt? Your presence was required a long time ago, and you have the guts to come late? You think you're better than your comrades? Maybe have a good excuse for that, Grunt. The fact you have helped other Grunts with their mission doesn't really you from completing your own mission. You better compensate this ins insubordination with a good performance in this mission. Lucky for you, we're still in the middle of it. Okay, let's recap. We've collected one fossil so far, found by a gr Grunt Andra. Our priority is finding more while we prevent that trainer from messing with us again. If you find him, tell me so I can beat him. So, roger that. High rank Frank. Well then, get moving, uh, you stack of useless bones. Ooh. So I'm remembering both your name and your face. You'll learn really badly how we manage this, newbie Rocket. Well, rocket discipline is non-negotiable. Ooh. 
but hey, don't take him that seriously. He's just frustrated because he's just assigned some successful missions as a high rank, and suddenly the situation has been compromised because of a 10 year old dude. I haven't uh, seen that kid yet, but if I see him, I'll show no mercy. Let's show everyone how powerful we are. Colonel Alan Grunts. Good luck on your search, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what we got here. Antidote. Can we beat Red? That is the question. I hope so. If it's one of them like games where like you have to lose, then yeah, it's fair, but I kinda hope we can win and change the story a little bit. Be kinda cool. But yo, stop wasting time and keep searching. Can't you see I'm really uh, looking around here? Alright, alright. I hope as the game progresses as well, like if we become like a high rank grunt, we get like um a new outfit like them. Like when we played Rocket Edition all them years ago, like the further you got into the game, you got like new outfits and then you end up looking like a boss. It was Dude, I, I kinda really wanna replay that game. I was like, I was legit gonna replay it, um, like this month, until I learned about this game. I was like, oh man, gotta give this game a go. 100%. Something about, um, playing as a bad guy. Oh, that reminds me, I've gotta get into the habit of saying, what is up villains? Because, yeah, we're a bit of a bad guy now. Uh, let's go make a drain. And level 9 hound out, sweet, and geo dude, let's make a drain again. And Onyx, let's Mega Drain again, man. This Zubat is unkillable. So good. So I came here to impress the girls. I'll deal with criminals. Just thinking, actually, to impress the girls, we should impress Andra and just uh, train up our other team. That would be kind of good. Zubat's getting a bit OP, and everyone else kind of falling behind a little bit. So let's let's go center it first. Try and get everyone level like 18. Uh, let's go down here first. Where's this taking us? Hey, yo! So, uh, there he is. The one that's been causing so much trouble. I tried to stop him, but my team has been crushed. Now I can only stay right here and watch. Oh, it's not red! It's blue. Hey, yo! Well, once again, not an old amber. I need to be satisfied with both helix and dome fossils. What a pity. Aerodactyl will be a fine addition to my team. Another rocket? You appear from everywhere. Uh, but I don't want to waste any more time defeating you two. With your level, I can't even warm up properly. Lucky you, I already have a dome fossil and I won't carry it. Take it if you want. Also, who wants an Omastaff or a, or a Kabudops when you can get a Blastoise? I mean, true. What, you're telling me that I'm arrogant and I'm guilty of excessive confidence because I'm letting the competition uh, stay unharmed? I don't care about how much you can uh, make with these fossils. Rocket, the only thing I care about is building a strong, balanced and powerful team. Which is priceless. Fair enough. Got a dome fossil! So the dome fossil is mine, I should inform my superior. Okay, uh, surf, surf. So red ain't gonna be coming through here for a little bit, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna just go around the rest of Mount Moon to see what we can find first. Hopefully get some more experience and maybe find some decent stuff. I'm gonna go hound out. I think I can take this out with an ember. Nice! Good, good. Oh, Sentra's evolving already? Doesn't Sentra evolve at level like 20 something? I mean, I'm happy it's evolving now. It's definitely gonna help out. Sweet. Uh, how's it going? Better watch your steps. Uh, Brock is my friend. If you try to rob me, our leader will crush you with his rock type mons. Yeah, I'm not scared of any rock type. I've got. I got Mega Drain. I got an Oddish. I think I'm good. Right, candy's good as well. Uh, let's just three swipes. What's up? How does it feel to be outside the law? It feels pretty good, man. It feels pretty good, let me tell you. No rules to follow. I can do what I want. It's great. I can steal people's Pokemon if I really want. Awesome, man. Oh, uh, you Rocket don't know how to deal with the Steel type. Uh, you know what? I think I can. We dig. <laughs> Photo, dig! Easy, dude. You were saying I don't know how to deal with steel type? Honestly, I'm gonna save the game as well because it's been a while. Just in case. Have I been down here? I don't think I have been. I wanna check every nook and cranny, man. Let's take out some Pokemon on the way. Uh, hi. Nothing here, comrade. Uh, so it looks like there's nothing important over here. Maybe in those stairs that lead to the other entrance. Maybe. Let's 
star piece. Let's go, baby. So let's get some more money. I wonder if I can leave Mount Moon from this side. Let's see if we can. I think there's like an yeah, at least another like one or two trainers. No, Clefairy is a very common Pokemon rather than a Rattata. Yeah, Rattata, super rare, man. <laughs> uh, anything over this side. Yep, got a bug catcher, but a rocket. Ah, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I just want to hear them making sounds in real life, like ugh, ugh. What are you trying to say, man? We've got Paralyzed Hill, sweet. And anything down this bit, and then I think we are done exploring. Uh, Bullet Seed's not bad. Can I teach that to um, Oddish? I can. I want to keep Acid. I think I'm going to get rid of Stun Spore. Bullet Seed could be good, but we can leave. Which is interesting. Uh, hi. Team Rocket robs Cerulean citizens. You should be ashamed of appearing in the news because of that. You've turned a house upside down and stole all that TM dig. Hope you weren't involved in that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't involved. I, I'm a, I'm a Laura Biden Team Rocket citizen. Don't you worry. I would never do anything bad. Probably. <laughs> right, so let's go and report this uh, to our boss. Which I assume is going to be the one that was uh, back at the start. Stuff, yeah, nice. I think though off screen I might do a little bit of grinding just to make sure everyone gets to level. I think 18. Because sometimes I think like I'm a good level, then I get into a fight and I'm like, oh, maybe not. But uh, okay, there you go. Hmm. Maybe not as useless as I thought. Add in this one, we have three fossils. Enough to wrap up the mission successfully. Call up all Mount Moon mission grunts, the mission is over. Come back to the gathering point. Perfect. I'm rushing the arrival time of the others, so I may find another fossil. Get moving, Grunt, and be careful of what you carry. Okay. So it is like, yeah, rival point back out this way, right? If we can run into red. Get to the end, and that'll be kind of cool. Alright. Oh. Up we go, and oh. Scientist dude. So lost something here, Rocket? Oh, really? You're collecting fossils, and you have one right here? Now, these rockets are known for their weakness and foolishness. If I, manage it, if I manage it well, I may get away with two fossils. Hey, Rocket, I'm offering you a deal. Oh? What you uh, can see over there is a helix fossil, which contains an Omanyte, an ancestral Pokemon that lived 300 million years ago. I bet my fossil in a battle against you and yours. Uh, whoever wins will get both fossils. Hmm, what do you say? You have a deal? Yeah, sure. I would expect less of a rocket. Uh... Alea Jack to Est. Whoever wins will get both fossils. Now leave yours in the front of mine to seal the deal. Okay. So you've committed a big mistake. My Pokemon will never fail against a mediocre grunt like you. Prepare to lose a dome fossil. How oh, great. Thanks to you, I have both dome and helix fossils. Okay, that's what you think. You got Grimer. Let's dig ya. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be an easy fight, man. Such an easy fight. Maybe I don't have to do any grinding. Like, I feel like our rival is pretty strong, but everyone else we battle is pretty weak. My coffin, ooh. Can't dig ya, but I can surf ya. <laughs> easy, dude. It's super easy. So you ain't a normal rocket. I hate when someone outstands uh, statistics uh, about the fossils. Call up Voltsy. Are we even more uh, powerful trainers showed up? He's defeated us with no effort and he's moving towards you. Protect the fossil with your life. Again, protect the fossil with your life. It's an order. Oh. So we're just waiting. There's red. Here we go. Oh, the music. This is sick, man. All right, he's got six Pokemon? Level 32 Charmeleon. Okay, yeah, we're not supposed to win this fight. Dragon Rage did more than 40. Okay. Sleep powder. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Sorry. Mud slap. Nope. Okay. Yep. You cannot win this fight. Impossible. I feel like 
they must have changed it because like in the Fire Red Rocket Edition you can win this fight, you're not supposed to. But like obviously you're, you're gonna lose the fight because it's really difficult. And it's designed to be, you know, for you to lose. But that one just felt like it was impossible to win. Okay, so now we're here. Uh, I guess I need to just make my way back through the Mount Moon to um, report the mission. Oh, Grand uh, where the heck are you? Come back here right now. You need to give me uh, some explanations about what just happened. Uh, I'll, I'll try. Do I have a rappel I can use? Uh, don't think I have a rappel. No, all right. Just gotta run all the way back through. The annoying thing is, losing that fight is gonna put the happiness down on Zubat a little bit. I wanna get a Crobat as soon as possible, man. But speaking of Crobat, we should be in a uh, Golbat soon. It's level 23, isn't it? Oh, it's been a while since I lost you the Golbat. I think it's between 21 and 23. We're almost back. Oh, here we go. So, high rank Frank. So you've got guts to come back. You were given a mission, uh, Voltsy, to protect the fossil with your life. And you failed thunderously. Got anything to say about it? Yeah, man, that raid was super tough. You had two fossils in your possession, and you got tricked by a newbie scientist to fall right after a, under a mysterious trainer? Your incompetence, incompetence is frustrating. I'm recommending Patrol your immediate termination. Someone as incompetent as you doesn't deserve a place in this organization. Hey, sorry for interrupting, uh, high rank Frank, but I have seen a Voltsy fighting, and he isn't as weak as you think. While everyone that have uh, fought against the mysterious trainer have lost almost immediately, it wouldn't be fair to punish just one of them, would it? Also, we have two fossils. In the end, it hasn't been hasn't gone so bad. Um, we ain't judging his level as a trainer, Andra, but his lack of cunning and intelligence in the moment to overcome the situation. Should have taken the fossils quickly and fled with an escape rope as soon as you received my message. Furthermore, you also disregarded that scientist that ended up tricking you. That rogue must have uh, fled with one of the fossils. You've ended up as the uh, classroom fullest, Voltsy. Your negligence will cost us hundreds of thousands of pokey. Got any idea of how many years of your wage that is? Uh, I don't know actually. Probably not that much because one mission I got 25k, so maybe half a year? But what, are you telling me that... Uh, Rocket's honor code says that we shouldn't flinch never in front of the enemy nor flee and that and that will be uh, seen as weakness and lack of values and that we should have uh, beaten that trainer altogether oh that is outrageous don't need that newbie uh, that came out of uh, nowhere to talk to me about the uh, Rocket honor code you'll regret mentioning it people like you need to be taught in the bad way I'm not responsible of your team after this oh okay high rank Frank wants to uh, try and make an example out of me Got a cool, cool uniform, man. I like the red sleeves. But it's time I show you who the real boss is. I'm gonna be high rank Voltsy soon. Yeah. About that eradicate, that's fine. And we are gonna just uh, let's go for a dig. Tackle doing a bit of damage. And go for a quick attack. And you miss your attack, nice. Another quick attack. Oh, you quick attacked me. All right. All that. Did a lot of damage. Ekins, uh, gonna go into Hound Hour. Embia, that glass sucks. Oh, I got paralyzed in the same turn. Come on. Oh, these berries, man, suck. I'm gonna heal up. And I'm gonna Ember again. Okay, I'm gonna get taken out, it's fine. I'm gonna potion up the Zubat though. Just in case. And then we wing attack, finish you off. Should have gone for Mudslap actually, but it's all good. So this is inadmissible. Enough, the mission's over. The balance is of two fossils. Present yourselves in Route 5 base to be held accountable with Patrol. Also, you'll be given your next mission. Smoke Bomb! <laughs> wow, have you seen that? Everyone is astonished. High rank Frank is famous for being bloodthirsty and impatient with newbies. But you faced him with no regrets and maintained steady your position. I didn't cross paths with that mysterious trainer. Did he have a Charmeleon? Seems like there are some really strong people around here. We must train so that that kid doesn't defeat us as easy as today. So what will Patrol say? I don't think that Frank will speak good things of you in his uh, report. You should go quickly to the quarters and tell him your version. So calling up Grunt Andra. 
Right here, sir, what is it? You were given a mission alongside with six grunts. I want you to, do, want you to depart to Vermilion City immediately. Details will be given on your way. Is Voltsy there? Roger that, yes, Voltsy's here, sir. Tell him I want in my office right now. You're dismissed. Uh-oh. Well, you've heard it. Looks like this time we won't have the same mission. Next time we see each other, I hope your team will become unrecognizable. Furthermore, mine will be much stronger. See ya, Colonel Allen comrade. Okay, so let's get out of here and make our way back to the uh, Route 5 base. Probably gonna get us golden from Betrayal. If we can clear things up, maybe... I don't know. I think we did a good job. Ish. Kind of messed up a little bit on the, the Mount Moon mission, but managed to defeat the, the guy and get some dig TMs. But this is probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we are going to head to Route 5. Um, probably get a scolding from Betrayal and then get our next mission. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.